We all love when the query runs fast, don't we? Loki already run it extremely fast. It can process about one terabyte a second for a single query. Our Grafana Cloud uh, client uh, query tremendous amount of petabyte logs a day. And it's interesting that for about 50% of analyzed data, Loki returns no results. Of course, we see a lot of non-optimal queries, but also we see that sometimes our clients needs to find uh, the needle in a haystack. For example, imagine a client wanting to investigate a failed order without prior knowledge of where the relevant logs might be. They are forced to search the entire in production environment. And what uh, Loki does at this moment? It goes to the index and finds all the chunks for the requested matcher. Be sure it will be a huge count of the chunks. And one of the reasons is uh, because Loki doesn't index chunks content. Um, so Loki needs to download all of them and analyze logs line by line. Of course, this process is highly parallelized, but anyway, it requires a lot of computing resources. But what matters most is the client uh, waiting for the results, the time the client waiting for the results. That is why Loki 3.0 will uh, include query acceleration uh, assisted by Bloom filters. Bloom filters are space efficient probabilistic data structure for detecting if data doesn't exist. In other words, it will help Loki to know where it should not search for a data. This aims to reduce the cost and latency of finding needles in a haystack by up to a thousand times. Techniques like Bloom filter have historically been difficult to adapt to Loki because Bloom filters require keys to index and look up, but Loki doesn't enforce structure on the logs. The ability to ingest uh, logs from uh, different teams, from different apl applications, has always been one of Loki's strengths. So it can be anything, log FMT or JSON or unstructured text. Fortunately, Ngrams do doesn't require to understand the format of the logs. Uh, using this solution, Ngrams are just the sequences of adjacent characters. And using this solution, we can extract the keys from any string and ingest Zeus into specialized Bloom filter. So after this, when the user runs the query, Loki understands if it can accelerate it using the new approach, and it does it. This solution doesn't require to change uh, the query or update uh, Grafana dashboard or alerting rules to start using the acceleration boost. Here you can see that Loki splits uh, the ID from the line filter to all possible combinations of grams and grams, and they will be tested against uh, the Bloom filter to check if the chunk might contain the data even before downloading it. There are many variables in play to calculate the effectiveness of this approach. But we can already say that for when we run a query with a short line filter, this solution reduces the chunks count to check by 72%. And uh, for the long line filter by 93%. And when we run a query with a line filter uh, with lens like UUID, uh, this solution reduces chance count almost by 100%. Of course, Bloom sounded free. They cost money to create, store, and query. However, at very large scale, with a heavy needle in the haystack workloads, they can save substantial money and latency by significantly reducing the amount of data Loki needs to scan. As I mentioned before, our experience running Loki sees uh, about 50% of uh, data processed and re returned no results. That is why we are so excited about Bloom filters. The potential to reduce uh, the amount of data Loki needs to scan between 70 and almost 100% is really exciting. And um, it will improve uh, operational stability 
and uh, will give us a completely new uh, query experience. And it's important to note that this solution doesn't require any additional user's complexity in fiddling with what, uh, what data uh, needs to be indexed and how to query it. Loki will continue to work the same way it always has, just faster and more efficiently.